Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Turfway Park Racing and Gaming for a wonderful Thursday evening here at the track. I'd like to also welcome in a special group with us in the house tonight, the group here with Mike Murphy and the Mary Murphy Christmas making their annual return here to the racetrack. Folks, again, 10 races on the card. The temperature here in Florence, 56 degrees. We do have 10 races on the program. The Tapita, of course, is listed as fast. The horses on the track for race number one, the first of 10 here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Race number one to kick things off. We'll start with a Philly and Mayor non three claimer. $5,000 is the claiming tag, a mile and 16th the distance. Scratch number one, runaway mom. Scratch the three, waiting on William. Numbers one and three, scratch. Seven left to go. Win, play, show. Exact to try. Super. Daily double. Starts a pick three, and it starts a pick five. That pool over 83,000 certainly will get into the six digits now. Five minutes of post race number one. Again, that 50 cent pick five. The early one starts here. We do have two. Last night, that first pick five, I believe, paid better than $67 thousand dollars best of luck on this 10 race card race one we'll get it started in five minutes all set and they are racing yes size of miller had an alert beginning but it's bell of st john who has the most speed as they go under the wire for the first time bell of st john will be the leader as they head over the first turn my angelica will track off her heels in the three spot from second yes size of miller she broke fast but she's in hand from third down the inside is she's a threat from fourth about four off the pace then a length and a half for the back zawadi settles on in the fifth position then a length and a half for the back as they work around that turn lieutenant kitty is second last and atelka is seventh and trailing not going very quick as they turn up the backside and Bell of St. John. She leads by a length and a half. My Angelica now draws a closer second. Still hard held to the inside. Yes, size of Miller from third. She's a threat as fourth. There comes Zawadi making an early backside move. Lieutenant Kitty with a backside brush as well. There are three across the course there and near the back of the field. And Atelka can see them all. They pass the half-mile pole in a snail-like tempo, and Bell of St. John still the leader. Maya Angelica still tracking from second. The jock looking for competition to the outside should just look to the inside because Yes, Size Miller's right there, has a foothold at the fence, locked and loaded, but she's about to get covered up by Lieutenant Kitty, who's making a move on a three-wide bit. She's a threat to Gold Silks from between horses. Atelka's up a spot, and Zawadi has been relegated to last. They work around the turn with a quarter to go, and Bell of St. John has company. From between horses, Yes, as a Miller found a seam, and here comes AFM Stables, Yes, as a Miller, to take the lead with a furlong to go. And Yes, size a Miller are powering to the lead with those giant strides. Bell of St. John through those fast fractions is still boxing on to the inside. She's a threat third. My Angelica fourth down to the wire. Kathy Jarvis report to the winner's circle. Yes, size a Miller wins by a neck. Bell of St. John was second, then it was She's a threat. It looked like My Angelica was fourth in one. 149 and two into the uh, turfway park winner's circle number five yes as a miller yes as a miller a seven-year-old bay mayor by yes it's true out of the city zip mayor named manning miller the winner's owned by afm stables limited of jeff jarvis the winning trainer kathy jarvis and the winning jockey joseph ramos Number five, Yes, Isa Miller, a three-time winner. Second here at Turfway, proving her record to two wins from 16 starts here. But she is 10 for 16 in the money over this oval. Yes, Isa Miller covered the mile 16th, 149 and two, and starts the pick five at six to one odds. The winner, $14.88, 652, 334 to show. 48.96 for the exact of 50 cent try 72.33 10 cent super 88 dollars and 10 cents up next race two take out numbers two four and five the one is one over the three is five over the six is two over race two starts the first of three pick fours the early pick four in 26 minutes and they are racing 
but good beginning for FOMO who reaches on out. Malibu time is flashing speed. And going with that one from between horses is Shirley Sherman as they continue to run up the backside. Liberty Blue came away racing in the fourth position, just about six lengths off the pace. I have the beholder races about seven off the lead. Then it is Bronze Beast in about two back to uh, land remembered. The quarter on the board, 22 and 1. Malibu time shows the way. Shirley Sherman still tracking from second. Then there's a margin of about seven or eight lengths. Now sliding through along the inside, Liberty Blue is underway. And Liberty Blue up the inside from third. Bronze Beast is taking the overland route from fourth. As they work around the turn, it's still Malibu time. Uh, fleet footed on the front end shows the way a length and a half. Shirley Sherman still tracking from second. Top at home stretch. And Malibu time uh, has shouldered the load. Half mile 45 into two and Malibu time driving on a two length lead. Down the center comes Bronze Beast still fighting on Liberty Blue one sixteenth to go. Malibu time is still there but Bronze Beast is flying to the outside. Malibu time Bronze Beast wearing him down but Malibu time wins by about two in the end. Bronze Beast was second a picture for third between last remembered and Liberty time in one eleven flat. In the winner's circle, number one, Malibu Time, a three-year-old bay colt by my boy Charlie of the Malibu Boot, mayor named Salad Moon. The winner's owned by Frank Jones and Nancy Deloney, trained by Dale Romans and Luan Machado, the Axeman, the winning jockey. Malibu Time, now a two-time winner, covered the six furlongs in 111 flat. The winner bred in Kentucky by Vincent Colbert. 1-8-11-7, unofficial. The horse is up on the track for race number three from Turfway Park. Race number three made in Philly, two-year-old claiming event to go a mile. Scratch 5, 10, 11, 13, 5, 10, 11, 13 out. Win play show exact to try super daily double pick three. Wait trade also daily double in nine minutes. And they are racing. Quick start for Pink Robe, who came out firing Ellie Deli. Flashing speed up to the outside, Raina Bella, away into third position in the first turn run. Queen of Chills parked out four deep, then C minus is fifth in about the three path as they work around the turn. On to the next is next, and Gamby is a length in front of Spunk and still four. Back to slow starting right now. Six furlongs to travel and about 14 links top to bottom. They're chasing Pink Robe, who's showing the way as they turn up the backside. Three parts of a link to Queen of Chill, who pressures up to the outside now. These two on even terms, about two links in front of Raina Bella. Ella Deli settles along with that one about a length in front of C minus who continues to race fifth. Now, backside move from Spunk who's advanced a couple of positions. Red Silk Screen Cap has drawn within four lengths of the lead as they pass the half mile pole. On to the next is about two in front of Gamby as they head over the far turn run. Right now is on the move. It switches out wide for that far turn run. Three furlongs to go. No twist in the plot. It's still Pink Robe, the daughter of California Chrome, paving the path, and she's still being pressed by the daughter of Bolt Doro, Queen of Chill. Now, there goes the gray, Raina Bella, to strike the front outside the uh, quarter pole as they reach the top of the home stretch, and they turn on down for the money. And it's Raina Bella with the lead as they whip a man just outside the 316th pole. It's Raina Bella. She's opened up a two-length lead. From the between horses, Ellie Deli now second down the stand side from last right now, 116th to go. And Raina Bella will have to brace for the challenge of right now, who's coming right now. Here's right now to get up in the final stages. Right now, last to first to win by a neck to give the Axeman two on the card. Raina Bella was second. It was a mile back to C minus in that photo for third in 141 flat. Into the winner's circle, number one, right now. She's a two-year-old bay daughter by First Samurai out of the Smart Strike Mayor, whose name is R. Smarty Pants. The winner is owned and bred by Brian Hilliard, the winning trainer, Kenny McPeak. And that's two in a row for the Axeman, Luan Machado. Number one, right now, breaks maiden start number five here. As she goes last to first in synthetic debut in 141.1. Seconds right now. Once again, Brad in Kentucky by owner Brian Hillier. 
Prices are up. The winner eight dollars eighteen cents, four fourteen in the middle, and three oh six to show. Exact to fifty dollars fourteen cents, fifty cent try, fifty nine ninety five. The double apparel ones thirty nine dollars ninety six cents. Dime Super was worth twenty nine dollars thirty five cents. The first pick three on this Thursday program one hundred eight dollars and seven cents. Up next, race number four. Race four will start the middle pick four once again. We do have three pick fours tonight and tomorrow as well with these 10 race programs. Again, the middle pick four starts here in race four on races four through seven. And to kick off that pick four, we do have a change in this opening leg. Scratch number seven, mark it off. Nine left to go, post time in 22 minutes. And they are racing. American Nightmare was fleet-footed. Also, J.W. Ruckus is flashing speed. Mason AP jumped well, and Unbridled Beast bounces out into fourth position. El Cheapo for Jarvis, down on the inside from fifth, and a link for the back. Vittori Ken shaded by Draft Capital. Still a couple links for the back as they work into the opening turn to Blanket of Roses, and at the back of the pack, Awesome DJ is last. J.W. Ruckus hard-held with that low head carriage there, shows the way outside the six furlong pole, and the veteran Perry Ute's going to work trying to throttle back that speed and that one has opened up seven links as they hit up the backside but there's not much pace on in fact as American Nightmare is back into second position. Unbridled Beast racing to the outside of Mason AP third and fourth El Cheapo saving every yard from fifth covered up by Draft Capital who advances a couple positions early down the backside. Blanket of Roses is third last, Vittori Ken second last and Awesome DJ is still ninth in trailing. Half mile in a slow 51 and 1. J.W. Ruckus and uh, veteran Perry Ute shows the way. American Nightmare could wait no more. Behind those slow fractions comes to challenge early with three furlongs to go. Up to the outside, draft capital to the outside of Unbridled Beast, who's in the middle as Mason AP is down along the inner rail. El Cheapo is underway, is raced up in the sixth. Only three links off the lead. Looks to go to the outside here as they race around the turn. Here comes draft capital up to the outside of the pace setters as they reach a top at home stretch. J.W. Ruckus still there. J.W. Ruckus and Perry Ute for those slow fractions still shows the way. Mason AP is going to get a split here. Here comes Mason AP trying to bully on through with American Nightmare. Then late on the scene, Draft Capital El Cheapo. Vittori Ken is way back, about six links further back. They're inside the final 16th. Mason AP still trying to get by J.W. Ruckus in a photo. Photo finish. I think Mason AP got the better of the bobs over J.W. Ruckus. Then it was American Nightmare. And Vittori Ken at 2-1 to one was never involved. Into the winner's circle, Victor LeBron gets paid here with number two, Mason A.P. Mason A.P., a seven-year-old Bay Gelded son by Brethren out of the broad brush mare in a broad picture. The winner's owned and trained by Mr. John Hill Jr. Mason A.P. picks up the sixth lifetime victory, the second here at Turf Lay, bred in Florida by Mikhail Yanikov. Mason A.P. gets up in the final strides to cover the mile on 16th, 147.78 seconds. With a 13 to 1 shot in Mason A.P. returning 29.98, 12.44 and 7.44 to show. Time Super, $1,968.07. The pick three, $255.22. The exacto, $189.12. 50 cent try gets you back $524.99 and a winning daily double of one and two, $151.82. Inside numbers are pretty prominent tonight as we continue on just about halfway through this car to get 10 races on the program. Race number five is up next. Please note, Race number five starts a 20 cent single six jackpot carryover. You'll want to be involved here. $33,041. Again, over 33,000 in the single six. And in race number five, scratch the 13 and 14. The jockey on the 12 is one over. Now, race five, we remember and recognize one of our own, a longtime racing official in the state of Kentucky and a former employee here of Turfway Park, the late Bob Will. The Bob Will Memorial up next in 22 minutes. And they are racing in the Bob Will. 
And it was a good start for El Muzin. Also quick into stride up from the outside. Showing speed is Zitzos. From the inside, now Brazen Boy moves a closer third. And there's room at the fence to come on underneath El Muzin. And Chris Landeros takes advantage of that room at the rail and now has the lead with Brazen Boy up the backside by a length. Itzos to the outside of El Muzin. Then four or five lengths back to team leader in St. Elmo to the inside of that one as they head over the far turn. From between horses, Donegal Danny's on the move right by the gray aerator deep on the course is quiet ride then two lengths for the back the gray uh, stonemont reunion is next now peak is underway peak and julio felix starting to pick them off from the back of the pack the quarter 22 uh, and three brazen boy and itzos they square off outside the the quarter pole after a half 45 and three it's brazen boy chris still has horse left ramos going to work on itzos to the top of the home stretch from the backfield quiet ride is underway and quiet ride catching the eye on the wrong lead with a furlong to go brazen boy shaking up still finding itzos is still lunging up to the outside and itzos is bearing down on brazen boy and these two come together with a 60 to go and itzos has gained the upper hand late and itzos is going to win Itzos by about a length and three quarters in the end. Brazen Boy was next. Good effort from Quiet Ride to be third. And then I think Donegal Danny may have got up for fourth in 117 and three. Longtime leader Brazen Boy in the final stride. Good looking son of Bolt Doro getting up at three and a half to one as Larry Best, OXO Equine, and Paulo Lobo continuing to put on a clinic here in this holiday meeting. Again, Itzos, number 11, has been posted as your unofficial winner. Second, number two, Brazen Boy. Third, number seven, Quiet Ride. And fourth, number three, Donegal Danny. 11-2-7-3. 11-2-7-3. In the winner's circle, number 11, Itzos. Impressive winner here, breaking the maid in the Bob Will Memorial. He's a two-year-old mate colt by Bolt Doro out of the Roar mare named Lana Kim. The winner carried the red and white silks of Larry Best, OXO Equine LLC. The winning channel, Paolo Lobo and Joe Ramos with his second on the card. Itzos, turning back to the six and a half furlongs, home a winner, 117 and three. Race official, price is up, 966, 454, 382 on the winner. Exact to $49, the try 141.14. The double, 215.26. The pick four, $1,314 and a penny. Dime super, $111.54. The pick three, combination one to 11 for a 50 cent investment, 159.80. Five of five in the pick five, how about $9,543.43. Consolation 405.101.34. Halfway through the card, which means we'll start another pick five here. Race number six in 22 minutes. Mike Murphy and family celebrating the Have a Merry Murphy Christmas. Again, race six sponsored by the Have a Merry Murphy Christmas Party. They've been doing it here at the track for many, many years, and we're glad to have them back in the building here. As race number six starts the 50 cent pick five, you're reminded to scratch at number nine, American Silver. Number nine, American Silver is out. And the jockey on the 10 is two pounds over. 21 minutes, we'll start another pick five with the Mary Murphy Christmas race. And they are racing. Seven and seven caught a fire, was really quick into stride. Steady Eddie away in the second position. Frosty Dreams is a close up third. Texas Red Pepper in, up to the outside of Rare and Ready. Three wide J Boone, four wide Spun Sun. Paid twice against the fence, second last. And at the back of the pack, Shikata Hay is all right to travel in the ninth and chilly position. They work around the turn, just about six furlongs to travel now. Seven and seven shows the way. Two and a half lengths as they go to turn up the backside for that long backside run. And seven and seven is playing a little game called Catch Me If You Can, the first quarter. Not all that quick, 24 and one. So seven and seven shows the way by two. Now steady Eddie and leading jockey Corrales comes on through to be second. Rare and ready down to the inside from third. In between horses, Frosty Dreams, Green Cap from fourth. Three wide is Spun Sun from fifth. Texas Red Peppers being put to the whip early there with four and a half to go. Paid twice is next. Shaconahay's up a spot and Jay Boone now can see them all. Half mile control tempo, 48 
0.66. Exact same fractions for the first two splits. Seven and seven leads three links to pay twice to the inside now on the move. Steady Eddie is back into third. Frosty Dreams is running in place from fourth. Just got passed by Shikana. Hey, the big long shot has now advanced up into the third position, but seven and seven is in front by three after three quarters in 13 and one. And seven and seven is pouring it on to the top of the home stretch. Drifts out to about the four path, but does so while three clear. Paid twice against the fence from second. Shikana Hay, the long shot has made that long sustained rally. He's up into third with one sixteenth left to go. Seven and seven is simply in a race against the clock. Seven and seven will toast this field a good night and wins to break the maiden gathered up by about five. Long shot Shikana Hay to the outside of paid twice in a photo for a second. A half a dozen or better leaks back to uh, Texas Red Pepper and Steady Eddie. The running time, 145.93 seconds. Seven and seven on the drop gives trainer Dale Romans the second victory on this Thursday card. Seven and seven, a five-year-old bay horse by Oxbow. Out of the Rainbow Quest mayor named Fiji. The winner is owned by Robert Barra, trained by Dale Romans for his second victory on the Thursday card here at Turf Play, written a victory by Chris Landero. Seven and seven breaks maiden in start number seven, covers the mile in 16th, 145.93 seconds. The winner, Brett of Kentucky, by Calumet Farm. Returns seven dollars and 34 cents to win. Four dollars and 82 of the middle, 326 to show, exact a 151, 42, 50 cent try, 98, 20, the double 39, 40. Dime Super, $128.64. Pick three, two, 11, three. Came back $159.05. Seventh race will kick off the final pick four of the evening. The third and final pick four on the final four races on the program starts here in race number seven in 23 minutes. Scratch one, three, 10, 14. One, three, 10, 14 are out. The 13 is in. And the pick four will start in 23 minutes. Good luck. And they're off for the lead from between horses. Capella broke sharply for the lead. Rum Runner Ready is offensive minded as well. Ant Mischief is next. And Luna Moth making a daring move to the inside. They stack up a little bit on the run the first turn. So eventful run into the first turn. But unaffected was Capella shows the way. A keyed up Rum Runner Ready to the outside from second. American Fairy Tale is third. Luna Moth to the inside fourth. Ant Mischief giving Oots a tough time there from fifth. Covered up to the outside by Mobiles. Advancing to the inside from the Hydral. Queen Tapature has worked her way all the way over to the fence. And she shaded up to the outside by Hazan. Then three legs for the back to Splash Mountain. Dogtown Diva on the run up the backside. The quarter 23 and four fifth seconds. They approach the half mile stage where the leader still is Capella. Rum Runner Ready still pressing to the outside. They've quickened about seven lengths in front of American Fairy Tale from third. It's shaded to the inside by Luna Moth to the outside by Mo Bills. Then two lengths for the back. Hazan is within striking range. She's got eight lengths to make up, and she's moving well on the far turn run. Half mile, 47 and two. But Capella still shows the way up top. Capella, the daughter of Quality Road on debut, looking strong up top by two. Luna Moth is in between horses, just checked off heels there to the outside. Mo Bills, Rum Runner ready to the top of the home stretch and Capella still up front with her ears up with uh, a furlong to go. She's in front by four. Mobiles to the outside in second. Rum runner ready to the inside third. Luna Moth is up into fourth. Hosanna is fifth. It's Capella still there and what a debut performance here from this one. Capella, name to remember, goes all the way up top and she won by about four. Mobiles was second. Luna Moth third. Then Hosanna was fourth. Looked like Rum runner ready and Dogtown Diva were the next two in one 38 and three. Number seven, Capella. It's all alone at the wire here. Gate to wire. Really good looking performance by this two year old maid owner by Quality Road out of the Tappet Mayor named Touch the Star. Capella is owned by Judmont, trained by Brad Cox and Fernando de la Cruz, the winning jockey. Number seven, Capella, well prepared on debut as she runs them off their feet here, 138 and three, the running time. She was bred in Kentucky by Jetmont Farms, Incorporated. Capella, 748, 430 in the middle, 356 for that show money. Pick three, $36.53. The winning exacto was 7 and 12, worth 29.74. 50 cent try, 87.37. The double, $22.28.
50 cent pick four, $740.65, a 10 cent super, $135.51. Race eight is your final chance to bet a pick three tonight. Post time for the eighth and 22, scratch number one, Hattie M. The 13 is in. The jockey in the three is two over, the rather than a 10 is one pound over. Just didn't wait. Post, and they are racing. Uh, Ursinolino with an alert beginning. Northern Diamond is flashing speed. And from between horses, Very Wealthy is up and after the pace as well. And from between horses emerges Lightning Fire. Story Aller the Gray is next. And a link for the back to Woodbine Way. And a link to Social Mandate as they run up the backside. Two back to Kenai Side, who's just about a length in front of Azul Tequila. Still two back to Richie's Noble Girls. And four back to Ten Rings. They blitz into the far turn, just about three and a half furlongs to go. And up top, sliding through along the fence is Lightning Fire. Lightning Fire shows away, but it's Quaria Comet, the danger. Now Quaria Comet emerges with the lead, now puts three quarters of a length lead on Lightning Fire back into second. Up the inside, the gray. Story Hour is still pressing on, is going to try to get off the fence and make an outside run here as they reach the top of the home stretch. And Quaria Comet will whip them in. And Quaria Comet off the turn in front by three. Story Hour and Lightning Fire the next down the center of the track comes Social Mandate and also Woodbine Way. They're with the 16th left to go. Up top, it's Coria Comet driving on a three-length lead. Late on the scene, Woodbine Way down to the wire. Chalk another one up for Lobo. He strikes again. Coria Comet and J.D. Ramos gets his third on the card. Story Hour was next and Social Mandate in a photo for fourth. Into the winner's circle, Chalk another one up for Balo Lobo. This time, he strikes with the three-year-old daughter of Shackleford named Coria Comet. She's out of the elusive quality mare named Colorado Girl. Coria Comet, owned by Brownwood Farm, LLC of Stanley Bergman. Again, Paulo Lobo with his second on the night, and Joe Ramos with a triple. Three wins for J.D. Ramos. Coria Comet, now a two-time winner, impressive here in victory. She was bred in Kentucky by Brownwood Farm. The winner covered the six panels, 110.8 seconds. Race official, the winner 622, 382 in the middle and $3 even for the show money. Exact to 4434, the try 19142, the double 711, 3126. Now the Superfecta for a dime it gets you back 21946, 50 cent pick 3, $28 and 65 cents. Race number nine from Turfway Park is up next. Your final opportunity to bet a daily double on this 10 race program from Turfway. The ninth race, couple of changes. The one is one over, the eight gets a shard. The nine is scratch. The 10 will get Santo Sander as the new jockey. The 13 draws in and the 14 is scratched. Ninth race up next in 22. And they are racing. Maintainer, graphic details sending out for the lead. Also, major contender in Grail as well on the run the first turn. They're uh, four across the track here. Now they start to sort themselves out, and it is major contender. Shows the way three parts of a length, and Godolphin's Grail to the outside in second. Graphic detail is third, covered up by Picasso from fourth. Maintainer is fifth, and about a length in front of Win the Day, who settles along sixth as they turn up the backside. Two for the back to Mom's Moon, seventh, perfect painting, eighth. Emirates Road is ninth as they continue to run up the backside. Yono right to the outside of that one, still a length. Back to the trailer at the back of the pack is Endless Sunset. Well strung out, about 14 lengths in behind the pace after the quarter, 24 seconds flat. And Grail could wait no more. Goes on with it. Best the half mile pull in front by two. Major contender release. That one will be content to track from second. Picasso is third. There goes graphic detail. Red Silks from fourth. Moving in tandem. Win the day. Pressures up to the outside. These five virtually right across the course. Maintainer is sixth in behind them. Still four. Back to perfect painting and from last. Inland sunsets underway. Half mile 47 and one. Now four across the course. To the inside is Grail. In the middle. Graphic detail to the top of the home stretch and dying for room as maintainer to the top of the home stretch. Now here comes graphic detail to the outside. Red shadow roll is win the day. Win the day has momentum to the outside. Graphic detail is digging down deep, but when the day has gained the upper hand, loose and charging finally maintainer. Maintainer is going to have to settle for a tough luck second because when the day will graduate. 
win today will graduate to the second lifetime victor here, dropping for them graded stakes competition to allowance and gets home in 137 and four. Win the day for boat racing, Fritz Brothers and William Strauss, a much the best winner. Win the day, drawing in off the also made a blitz on that far turn run and was parked out wide, but did sustain that run and the uh, talent Rose to the top here as the son of midshipman win the day gets it done here. Wins that first level allowance race after exiting those two graded stakes that won at Keeneland where he was beating 16 links, fifth and behind next in the uh, marathon. Time before that, a good effort in the grade three stake event at Santa Anita. Comes into this first level allowance race for the synthetic debut a convincing win. Golden Sun by Midshipman out of the Jazzlemare named Sunrise Bay. Winners owned by Boat Racing, LLC. Fritz Brothers Racing, LLC. In partnership with William Strauss. The winning trainer, Doug O'Neill. And the winning jockey, Manny Desquivel. Number 13, win the day. Now a two-time winner. Synthetic debut, a eye-catching one in 137 and four. 708, 356, 258 on the winner. Exacto was nice, 263.14. 50 cent try, $270. 10 cent Superfecta, $455.59. The big three, $28.66. The Roland Daily Double of 11 and 13, that $2 accommodation, $37.00. And 52 cents. Up next, the tenth and final race ten offers super high five wagering carryover two thousand three hundred twenty one dollars. Jockey change on the ten. Manny Esquivel, fresh off that win in the ninth, picks up number ten. Heston scratch the thirteen. Kid Chile, and they'll be at the gate for race number ten in twenty three minutes. And they are racing. Lutz Angel is hustled on out. Also, flashing speed Ambassador Mike from between horses Gus Gus and spun out wide. There is Heston. Advancing along the inside is Rural. That's the first five as that flight has quickened about two links in front of Habitus and Mid Atlantic are the next two. Still about two back to Tricolor, who's covered up by Nicholas Jones, then a link to Tolkien, advancing early as that uh, they turn up the backside in close knit. Is at the back of the pack. The pace is on. 23 and 4 up the backside they go. Heston Ambassador Mike. They're doing it up top in front by about two and a half to Gus Gus from third. Then a link for the back. Lutz Angel is a fourth. Really headstrong to the outside, tugging hard against the jock as Tricolor just dragging Sammy up into a share for fourth. Men Atlantic trying to catch a hole in between horses. Going to get uh, pressed in behind Gus Gus into the far turn run. He'll have to wait as Habitus is down on the inside. Tolkien is next on the move. Close knit catching the eye. Close knit is on the move, moving well. Knows Watt Humphrey Silks has raced up with about four links of the lead. Then two links for the back to Rural. And Brody's Fly is on the move. Brody's Fly working out a trip here, too, with Landeros rounding the turn. Here comes that long, sustained bid with Declan Cannon and Close Knit. Close knit to the outside. Tolkien right in between horses. Tricolor is going to angle down, trying to tighten up the hole on Lutz Chain to the top of the home stretch. And close knit still grinding away. Tolkien is battling. So is Tricolor, who won't go away. These three hit with a shot with a 16th to go. Tricolor to the inside. Tolkien in the middle. Tolkien in Tricolor. Tolkien in Tricolor. And Tolkien in the bug boy gets it done for the Vaccarisa family by just about a head. Then it was Tricolor also in their Late with a photo finish for third. Multiple horses in that photo for third. Late on the scene was Mid-Atlantic off the claim and also close-knit in that photo as well. But the winner, Tolkien, in the narrowest of margins in 139.30. Into the winner's circle, number 12, Tolkien. A made it no more, breaks the maiden in start number 22. Five-year-old Dark Bay Brown gelded son by Palace Malice out of the Pioneer of the Nile Mare named Night Timing. The winner's owned by Michael Vacareza, trained by Carlo Vacareza, and Walter Rodriguez, the winning jockey, the Bug Boy. Up top here for Tolkien's maiden score in 139.30 seconds. The winner, Brett of Kentucky by Woods Edge Farm LLC in partnership with Brookstone Farm. Tolkien for the Vaccarisa family, a 9-2 winner to close out the show.
the winner returns 11 12 four dollars 58 in the middle 336 to show consolation four or five eight dollars eight cents the exacta 12 and four 57 dollars and 20 cents trifecta was 12 four and eight the 12 four eight trifecta 50 cent variety 104 84 two dollar double 3304 The late pick four, 172.78, Dime Super 101.54. Multiple winners in the single six, each of those 639.92. That will carry also 37,162 into tomorrow's card. Pick three, 36.82, and five of five in the pick five, $401.15. High five went unsolved. That carries better than 43.38 into tomorrow's card. Back at you tomorrow, another 10 race card. Tomorrow's post time, 5.55. We'll see you then.